trying to install windows uh, 11 or trying to upgrade windows uh, 11 from windows 10 then you might see this problem windows can't be installed and pc can't run windows 11 pc must support secure boot secure boot can be enabled by going into the bios setting page in some older hardware if your pc does not support this option then uh, you can watch this video towards uh, the end and uh, even if you manage to enable uh, secure boot you will still have problems because uh, the windows still thinks it's not designed for 32-bit operating system which is an older unsupported hardware and uh, in some cases when you are on this page which is the installation page you will end up with another message which shows windows uh, can't be run on this pc because uh, the pc must support tpm 2.0 again you can go into the bio setting and look for this setting if it's available there you can enable that if it's not there then you can move towards the, uh, the next step which is how to prepare your files in order to install or upgrade from windows 10 to windows 11 we need iso file for windows 11 we need rufus and a usb flash drive 3.0 with at least 8 gb of onboard storage first thing is we need to create a usb bootable flash drive using uh, the iso image I've already downloaded and uh, uh, you can see that it's in my C, uh, it's in my D drive and the next thing is you need to change the partition from GPT to MBR which will enable your system to support BIOS or UEFI CSM on 32-bit unsupported hardware. Very important step. Make sure that you change the partition scheme from GPT to MBR otherwise you will not be able to run. So now we are going to connect USBs uh, one with the Windows 10 ISO file which has already been created and we have to delete uh, install.est from windows 10 source directory and uh, then copy rest of the folder contents into windows 11 source directory or sources uh, directory and uh, once it's complete your usb flash drive is ready to install or upgrade from windows 10 to windows 11 so now i'm going to attach this with my 32-bit or 64-bit hardware whatever you have you can use that in order to upgrade or install windows 11 uh, why we have deleted install .est because it will bypass the basic installation process and when you are on the basic installation process or installing page you will see installing windows 10 instead of windows 11 in actual in the background it's windows 11 but since we have replaced uh, the files from uh, windows 11 source directory by pasting uh, the files which we copied from windows uh, 10 source directory it will only show you that uh, the windows 10 is being installed in fact it's not windows 10 it's windows 11 and also you will notice the boot animation is changed uh, similar to windows 10 so once the setup is uh, completed you will go through the basic uh, installation process it will take some time depending on the system speed and then you will finally boot into windows 11 uh, your file and uh, data will be saved there's an option when you go through the basic installation process to either delete them or keep them if you are moving from uh, windows 10 and you have uh, plenty of stuff you can keep that so that's it for today's video guys thumbs up like subscribe and share if you have any feedback or comments do let us know in the comment section below see you soon take care bye bye